right, so we are headed into town, and it's a lovely Saturday, and we're gonna see if we cannot find some hot deals at garage sales. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of garage sales because I don't need more stuff, more junk, but I'm always lured and attracted to garage sales because there's a chance that you'll find tools. And not just wrenches and screwdrivers, I've got way more of those than I could ever handle, but sometimes you find the weirdest, the most interesting cool little tools. So we're gonna go see what we can check out. You guys excited for garage sales? <laughs> I also brought the drone with me into town. I haven't really used it that much and I'm hoping to find something really cool that I can try and do some videos of. It doesn't look all that great, does it? No. That's a drive-by garage sale. So we just hit like one of the best garage sales I've been to in years. I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got when we get home. Oh my goodness, this is like the garage sailor's dream garage sailor if you're like a guy, a tool guy. Thank you. Thank you too. Oh man, I love me Starbucks coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are going shoe shopping. And actually Strathmore has this standard shoe shop. Uh, this is where the old newspaper used to be and it's actually a really cool store. You know sometimes like somebody will start a small business in a small town and they think just because it doesn't exist in that town yet, they don't have to do it properly. It seems everywhere, every time somebody starts a business in this town, it's done very, very poor that in Calgary it would never ever last, but somehow they think that it will here and they never do. Um, I've been there once or twice, I bought a present for my wife there, I can see you Isaiah. He's staring at the camera. You look creepy staring at the camera. <laughs> you are you're staring at the camera. I know, but I'm also talking to the camera. <laughs> Anyways, that standard shoe shop, man. They've got it decorated nice. They have good shoes. Shoes that you'd find in all the big malls in the city. So I wish them luck. I, I, I always like to see small local businesses doing well. But it's sad when people think they don't have to do their business well in order for their business to do well. You know what I mean? They have Red Wing shoes. I know. They have Red Wing shoes. Alright, so we are on our way back to pick up a few of the things that we purchased. And uh, they're things that might get me dirty, so I had to change my clothes. And we got the truck, and yeah. I think that's a dog convention. I'm gonna show you what we got at this garage sale. Uh, typically when I go to garage sales, I just expect to be completely disappointed because you usually get nothing. I wanna hurry up and get this done because there's a big old storm coming in. But let's get started. First of all, grab some chains, good uh, load binding chains. And also I like this one because it's got this hook that you can actually use for uh, hooking onto stuff. Rated right for 4,000 pounds. Three chains, super handy to have. I got a big old piece of I-beam. That's gotta be, that's a 12 foot piece of Three by two I-beam, I'm not sure, but uh, like 10 bucks. How could you go wrong, 10 bucks for that? This was one thing that I was super excited about. I got this woodworker's bench vise. Uh, Paramo, I've never heard of this brand before, but made in England, number 51, that was the size. That is a nice size woodworker's bench vise, and it works like a charm. It's got those, I believe they call that an Acme thread. And then it also has this release lever here. You just press that it drops out the threaded mechanism there so that you can just press that and quickly move the vise in and out you don't have to thread it all the time so uh, that was $20 I thought that was a pretty hot deal I'm pretty stoked to have this so I'm gonna get that mounted up first I'm gonna take it off I'm gonna clean these uh, probably rebuild the whole thing and uh, get it all cleaned up and that's gonna be super handy to have uh, like three bucks for some gardening tools they just gave us through these in I got a few grain shovels which we need for uh, snow in the winter time Oh, I hear the thunder. 
I'm just getting hairy. This, $20 for a Blue Point digital uh, tack, and it's a photo tack as well. So I can actually check the exact speed that my belt grinders are running at with this. And also for working on vehicles, um, there's a little photo sensor there, uh, the photo tape. Super handy to have. I've used these all the time working on conveyors and stuff. It's always more of a specialized tool you just don't have, so I'm pretty stoked to have that. $5 for a set of these, uh, I don't know what they call them. And you strap them to your legs, and they have the spike here for like climbing up to telephone poles or trees. Like that, how cool is that? Five bucks, I mean, yeah, I, I don't need them. Certainly not something that I was hunting for, put that on after, but really they're in great shape. All the buckles are good, straps are all good. Five dollars, can't go wrong. Another thing for five dollars is this big piece of industrial racking. Uh, the guy said this came out of a commercial greenhouse, so it's got these heavy galvanized uh, trays and five dollars. You can't go wrong with that for metal storage. Then if we come over here, ended up throwing a bunch of stuff in for free. This little bunch of threaded rod, he just gave it to me. Uh, bear traps, these load binders. I think they're actually illegal to use in Canada right now, but they're still handy to have around the farm. Um, these wheels for making, I'm thinking about a coffee table. Those will make some pretty neat wheels. It's hard to find stuff like this nowadays. They just don't make them solid steel, um, cast steel, but all the balls are in there. They, they, they run very smooth and can't go wrong for a dollar a piece. And there was four of them. Uh, I bought a 3,000 pound winch. That was 40 bucks. That was the most expensive thing I bought. I plan on making a crane for my truck so that I can, uh, uh, something that mounts right over there so I can lift heavy things. And then the boys had been talking about building a go-kart and he had this engine sitting there and it runs. It's a 14 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton IC. And uh, the only thing wrong with it was the Bendix came off of the starter. If you look over there, he's got another one and tank and everything like that. And this was $5 for this engine. I think we'll be starting a go-kart project soon for the boys. They want more of like a pickup truck. They can haul stuff out to their Ford. And uh, man, I couldn't be more thrilled. Like I said, it's typically, you go to garage sales and I, I'm not looking for used stuff that's new stuff. I'm looking for old things. Uh, things that are like vintage or something, uh, especially tools. That's why I'm always looking for the tools and uh, bench vices because a lot of times you can find those old ones that are so much better than the new ones you buy in the stores now. So I'm gonna mount that woodworker's bench vise. I might get rid of this now, actually. I moved uh, I moved this one, it was there. I put my new bench vise on and moved this one to here. But if I can mount, I think this might be fairly close depth. That way my other bench vise is gonna sit here and it'll be under the table. I won't lose this work area and I'll have a bench vise here. So all in all, I'm pretty excited with that, that find, especially that digital tack and that bench vise. Those two things to me were like, wow. Uh, those bench vices, they're a few hundred dollars each. That one is in really sweet shape. The lady that sold it didn't even know what it was. Do you even know what that is? I was like, yeah, it's a bench vise. She goes, well, that's cool. I don't go to a lot of garage sales. I might hit one or two a year, maybe. We got a lot of really cool stuff. We only went to three garage sales. One was bogus. Old used Coleman coolers, dirty and filthy, like 25 bucks. I don't know what they're thinking. They had a coloring book that had a regular price tag on them. $1.50, $1.50 brand new was there printed on them. Half used, kids colored in them. They wanted a dollar for them. That's the stuff I would have thrown away years ago. Some of these people, when they have garage sales, they want good money for their old crap. And this guy, he's like, ah, give me five bucks, give me whatever, ah, you can have that, you can have that. They were moving into the city, they just need to get rid of everything, and those are the garage sales that you want to find. Good day for garage sailing, and now we just gotta get ready. I'm gonna try and get the stuff brought inside before the storm. I'm going to some friend's house for pizza tonight, so it's gonna be good. Y'all have yourselves a great weekend. Oh yeah. Give me a tree. Give me a tree.